Dude, so welcome, Rainbow Rangers. I'm now officially part of the team. And I'm super excited about it. If you haven't watched my one random video I got on here with my swollen cheeks, um, I have big cheeks anyways, but they were bigger then. Um, my name is Chloe, and I will be your lovely Sunday host. And, and what did you think of it? Yes. I've been to one in Salt Lake and then two in San Francisco because that would be as many years as I've been out. Three. Um, actually, this year in San Francisco's Pride, I was in it. I will pull up a picture. so cool to be like yeah to say to my grandkids one day yeah I was in San Francisco pride I don't know there's always like, the homeland the queer homeland <laughs> so I think it'd be fair to say that yes yes I have had more than my fair share of fun at many pride events I think that pride is a great way to when you're first coming out for you to go and network and meet people you know if you're from a small town like I was it's easy to feel like you're alone but you're definitely not and um, it made me feel like I had more people my age that were like out there and that it helped my sexuality kind of evolve um, and as far as the LGBTQ groups that are out in here in my school or college or just community where I live. Um, let's see, the LGBTQ Center I actually used to volunteer for. I did the, I was the secretary at the front desk. Um, I haven't been back for a while. I've just been really busy and that's not a good enough excuse. I need to get back in there at the door greeting people. Hello? But, um, there's also an out loud group for my school, but I have class right when it ends. So I have homework and things like that. But I would like to get back into the scheme of things and back into the little community, I guess. It's not really little. But I'm volunteering with kids right now, and that seems to be where my heart's at and what I want to do. But it's definitely good also to get to know people and get your name out there. I still take pictures um, for the LGBTQ um, community. I volunteer to do that for them whenever they have big events. Um, it's a good way to practice my photography and also do a good deed and, you know, meet people. And I've made some really cool friends doing that. So don't ever be afraid to just ask because they can always hook you up with just fun people and friends. And, you know, I met a lot of really good people that way. This Valentine's Day, my mom was out here, and I got to visit her, um, so I got to hang out with her. That was really fun, and hang out with my friends. I noticed that the best Valentine's Days I've ever had are when I'm single, and when I get to hang out with just, like, my buddies. Those are always the best Valentine's Day, because I haven't been, like, the one time I had a lover... It was fun, but the best Valentine's Days I've ever had have been when I'm alone and single. So, I don't know, maybe that's a sign, maybe it's just because I'm 19 and still kind of working it out. I haven't found that, like, life partner yet. <laughs> no rush. <laughs> um, yeah, but my ideal gift for Valentine's Day would probably be anything homemade. I love homemade gifts. I love when people can, like paint you a portrait or like for Christmas my friend Tiffany um, made me a cartoon book about me and I was a superhero it's amazing and um, like your heart can't spell heart without art so on Sunday but for you it's probably like Monday and you're probably like where WTF mate where's my video that sounded more like Australia sorry Anyways, our rendition of Sunday with Chloe on the Rainbow Rangers.
your super rainbow. Rescue. I'm like a venereal disease. You can't get rid of me.